Hi everybody, I'm Colette with Body Compass Discovery and today we're going to be blasting those legs in glutes. So this will be five exercises. Each one takes about three to five minutes and you're going to be standing and using the floor as well but all you're going to need is a mat. This is really focused on body weight and showing how much your body can actually do for you without the addition of weights or anything. So to start, we're going to do I would recommend standing in the middle of your mat and we're going to do a combination of front and back lunges with some chair poses. Now if some of you don't do yoga and you don't know what that is, I'll demonstrate. A chair pose is feet together and sinking down. You're pushing your backside behind you, chest is up, arms are lifted from the side. It looks like this and you can sink deeper to really feel it. So, lunges for the quads, chair pose for the hamstring, you're going to feel glutes in both. What we're doing is we're going to do a chair pose, then we're going to step out to a front right lunge, back up to a chair pose, now to the left front lunge, I think you get the idea, chair pose, and back. So just repeating coming back to that chair pose for everything. And that's one set. We're going to do 10 of these. This should definitely get your legs warmed up. <laughs> All right, ready? Starting to the front first. Sink in the chair pose, up, front right lunge, chair pose, left lunge, chair pose, back right lunge, chair pose, back left lunge, and chair pose repeat. Make sure that when you're doing this, your leg, your knee, is not touching the ground, it is hovering. This will really activate those glutes to try and hold it there. And just go at a steady pace. Three. You can sink deeper into those chair poses if you want a little bit more. And I'm trying to hold each one about one second. But if you want to get a little bit extra out of your workout, you can pulse in each spot this. Trust me, it'll work. <laughs> All right, guys, you are halfway. You should already be feeling it. Seven. I like making sure that I get an even mix of front and back lunges to work all those muscles. If you're going to take a break in between, go for it. Listen to your body as long as you eventually get 10 in. Two more guys. You got this. Almost the last one. Keep pushing through the burn. Last one front. one. Um, let me move my mat a little bit. We 
are going to be doing front and side lunges, long lunges. So, I would stand maybe to a corner of your mat, whichever direction you're going. But you're going to be stepping front, front lunge, push off, and then that same leg steps out to a side lunge. It's a little bit too hot. I have my hair down for this video. And then you're going to do the other side. We're doing 10 each side. So we'll start with the right. I'm going to stand on the left side of my mat. Ready and one. Remember to keep that stabilizing leg straight the whole time. And this is five. You're going to be pushing off on that front foot. Front foot. Use that momentum. Two more. And then we switch to the other leg. Try and get low into it. All right. Shake that leg out. Move to the opposite side of your mat. And step front with the left. You guys, when I'm already sweating, maybe that's because I'm outside in Texas, but I like to think it's because of the workout. Three more. Keep going. Of course, you can choose to do these with a medicine ball or any other type of weight to hold. If you want to get that extra um, workout for those glutes. Last one. All right. Okay. The middle move in this sequence is the hardest one. We're doing some plyometrics. I'm going to try and jump most of it with you guys, but I'm probably going to walk a bit. Like I said, I'm outside, it's pretty hot. <laughs> but listen to your body. If you have weak knees, don't jump. Just walk the whole thing. Um, if you are tired and you're feeling kind of wobbly, walk it. So it's totally up to you. If you're a champ and you work out all the day, every day and you're like, what, this is easy? Jump it. <laughs> so what we're going to be doing, I'm gonna, I guess kind of come up to the middle of my mat. I'll show you the walking version first. We're going to squat down, come up. I'll show this from the side. All right. Squat down, come up, lunge forward, up. Squat to prep for Frogger. Plant those hands, hop out in the plank, or sorry, walk out into plank. Walk back in that squat position. Up, lunge left, up, squat, plant, plank, back. That's walking it. Now, I'm gonna start with the jumping, and I'm sure I'll get back to that walking point with you. We're going to do 10. Ready. Starting with the right first. Ready and squat. Lunge. Squat. 
squat, frogger, lunge, squat, frogger, up. That's one round for both. Nine more guys. Squat, lunge, squat, frogger, back up, left, squat, frogger, up, two. You got this. It is challenging, but that means it's working. These froggers kill. All right, guys, that's halfway. You got this. Shake it out in the middle if you need to. You may walk a few with y'all. Make sure when you're doing those lunges, especially if you're jumping, that your knees do not hit the ground. Not only will that hurt you, but it's bad form and it's not gonna help. Keep pushing through, guys. Two more. Like I said, this is the hardest move, I think because it's the most on your body. Last one. Whew. All right, you made it through and now you're halfway through the workout. So for the rest, we're gonna be on the floor. I'm gonna turn my mat while you guys get some water or whatever you need. Okay. So, we're going to start laying on our backs. And your knees are gonna be up, feet are going to be planted. And we're gonna do some variations of bridges. All right, and I said the plyometrics was hard, as in, in the moment with the cardio and the impact on your body. These last two are slow. I like the Pilates burn. So, tighten your core. This is all about control. We're going to come up for a bridge. Raise your leg, dip, keeping that leg in the air. Back up, leg goes down, hovers above the ground. Back up, dip, back up. You don't ever completely drop your body on the ground, your glutes or your foot. Your stabilizing leg is really gonna feel this. All right, we're doing 10 here and we're starting with the right. Ready, and bridge, up, dip, up, down, hover, up, dip, up. Down, cover, up, dip, up. This is three. Dip, up, four. Keep that stabilizing leg strong. Halfway there. Now, if your leg is on fire, yes, you can take a break. I'm not that mean. <laughs> three more. Two, and one. Oh man, you should feel the burn in this leg here. <laughs> All right, get ready for the other side. And bridge, raise, dip, up, cover, and repeat. Four, five, six, 
Try and get those hips as high as you are able to. Two more. Last one. All right, rest. Now, for the last move, we're gonna flip around and be on all fours. With, um, but we're gonna be down on our elbows instead of our hands. So, for this, you're gonna put, I'm starting with my right again, your leg out straight, and you're gonna raise up, back down, up. We're gonna do that for 10. Then on the 10th one, you are gonna hold it there. And you're gonna pulse for 10. And then when that's done, you're gonna go into circles. And then you're done, you can put your leg down. So, 10 lifts, 10 pulses, 10 circles, and then the other leg. And then that's the end of the workout. You can do this. Power through. Ready? And one, two, three, four. Squeeze those glutes as you raise your leg. Eight. This might look easy, but if you're doing it with me, you feel that it's not. <laughs> And 10, pulse, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. And tiny circles clockwise. These do not have to be big. They will burn more if they're smaller and controlled. Seven, eight, nine, and 10. Bring that leg down to rest. And left side. One, two, squeeze, squeeze, tighten those glutes. Just a few more. And last one, ready for the pulses. Push through and circles, circles. Try and keep your lower body still. Almost done. Two more. All right. Whew. You should feel that all over your lower body. <laughs> You're going to be pretty sore tomorrow. It'll be worth it and you're definitely going to see results if you do this again. Thanks everybody.